Hi, it's Mike at Phase One. Another product I'd like to show you today. Bit of an unusual one. We haven't done a video like this for a while. This is the QTX Stratos 1200. It is a low level fog machine. Right, before you all start screaming, well, will it set alarms off? And how far will it drift up? And all this, and yeah, look, this is a low level fogger, yeah, which is going to produce a fog that sits along the floor. Is it as good as dry ice? No, right? But dry ice, for those who know about dry ice, there's a lot of graft involved in dry ice and it's a bit of a faff. And if you want to create the ultimate effect that stays on the floor and stays there, dry ice is what you need. But it's going to got a cost element and it's got a, a faff element, uh, whereas this is a simple idea. Now, we've seen these type of things before where we used to put ice in them. Now, I never really liked the ice thing because Ice melts, and then it melts to water, and it was always a bit messy. Uh, and it was then getting the ice at the venue and keeping it ice, and like when you get to the venue, having ice there. This solves that problem. This is a simple low-level fogger, and what you do, if I open the lid here, is you put water. Yes, water. Distilled water or water? I've currently just got water in here, yeah? Distilled water, I think, would probably uh, give you an even better effect and it'll also be better for the machine because distilled water has got all them properties removed from it. Don't know, not a scientist, go and look it up, please. Or somebody tell me why distilled water in the comments. Right, so you put your water in there, then you can, by all accounts, just use standard smoke fluid. But we, at the shop, we have a, some uh, smoke fluid that's called low fog, which is apparently better at hugging the ground. So I've got some low fog in here, but apparently you can put standard smoke fluid in. But for purposes of this video, I've used the low fog that we sell at the shop. Right, another good thing about this, it warms up in about three minutes, three to five minutes. There's no waiting. So three to five minutes is going to heat up. I'm reading off a bit of paper. I am the best at reading off bits of paper and off the side of boxes. It's been said before. Right, three to five minutes warm up time, which is great. Also, it's saying according to the spec, and I don't know how they measure this, and I would love to know how they measure this. It's got output of 7,500 cubic feet per minute. I'm not saying I don't believe that. In fact, I do believe it, but how did you measure that? How, how, how do you have a smoke measuring device and I want to see how that works. Tell me how that happens. But that's the output. So there's plenty of output. Uh, it comes with a remote control here, right? And with this remote control, you can set a timer, you can set the output, you can set the fan, you can take real good control of this, right? Just using that item there. But it's also DMX as well. Two channels of DMX, dead easy. It's the amount of fog output and it's the fan speed. So you're gonna control that with your DMX desk, right? But I think it'd be as easy to control it from this. And also, and I haven't, oh, hang on, I better go to my desk, hang on. Comes with one of these, right? Which is a little RF remote. And you can get it to smoke, you can get it to stop smoking, and you can increase and decrease the output. Which is really good. It's a little wireless remote and it works. It's, it's not one of them point and shoot. So you could have this at the other end of the venue and you want to trigger it off. It's going to work perfectly. In this video, uh, I'm going to show you working here. I think you might have seen some of our reels and Instagram reels where you might have seen us playing around with it in the shop. The shop is a nightmare to put it down because there's too many obstacles. And then of course, when it hits, when the smoke hits an obstacle, it starts to raise up. Uh, anything else I need to tell you? Well, I'll tell you what, we'll let you have a few. I'll take the camera around and let you have a look at it from all angles. I hear you say, oh, how do I get the water out? There's a little tap on the front. You just open it up and it releases all the fluid. Will it set smoke alarms off? Well, yeah, if you fill the place full of smoke and it eventually will rise. And if you walk through it, it might rise. And if there's a smoke detector there right in the way, yeah, there's every chance. But I say this about all smoke machines. Um, so I haven't found a way around that yet, and I'm sure, you know, hopefully one day we will be able to, but so far I haven't found a way around that. 
But I just think at the price point this is at, I like the ease of it. I like the fact you just put water in there and smoke fluid in there and it produces a low fog effect. And it's going to be great for Halloween. I think it's going to be great for the dancing in the clouds thing. Because let's face it, that dancing in the clouds thing, we only need that shot, that one shot, yeah, which you can get, you know, your photographer get that down, two or three minutes, job done for that first dance. And then if the smoke rises and it's going all over the place, by all means, you know, what can you do about it? And the other thing is, I do get asked this, will it work outside? I, I've been asked this before. Uh, yes, it'll work outside, but the wind is going to blow it away, right? Just like if the, the draft in here, if we put this by the door, you'll see it blow around in a draft, so it's not going to stay to the floor in a drafty area. If you put this in the wind, it'll blow all over the place. You can use it outside if you want, right? What I have noticed is, and we get this when we use smoke machines at the shop in general, when it's cold, it's like it's always cold in here, the smoke hangs around a lot hangs around a lot longer it seems to hang around in the atmosphere a lot longer i don't know what it is with the temperature in the room so at low temperature i think this will work even better so without further ado let's have a look at it Right, so there you go, that was the QDX Stratos Low Fog Machine. Right, will it set off smoke alarm? Highly likely, if you fill the room up full of smoke, it's gonna set a smoke alarm off. Does it hang to the floor? Yes, it does hang to the floor. But if you, uh, in a draft, it's going to blow, it's going to rise up, we can't get away from that. If you run through it, it's going to go up a bit as well. We took it to uh, an event the other day uh, it was a Halloween party, your charity do. Uh, there was lots of kids there. As soon as I saw that come on, oh, they were all on the dance floor. I thought it was amazing, right? So the effect worked brilliantly. But as soon as they started wafting around in it, it did start to rise. So you can't avoid that, but it does stay to the floor more than a no ordinary smoke machine. A lot more as well. In the shop here, there's a lot of obstacles in the way. So these things getting in the way. So as you could see, it was drifting along and hitting the cabinets and the display cabinets. And of course, that's causing it to rise as well. And, you know, it's quite drafty in here. But I thought it did all right. I thought it did all right. I was amazed at how quickly it heated up. I mean, literally two minutes, if that. Um, and it's just an easy, simple thing to use. And you can put it on a timer. I just thought it was great. Bang on. If you want some more information on pricing, click the link in the description of the video. And if you like our videos, hit the subscribe button. Cheers.